The secret new model Nano Banana on Ella Marina is probably the new model that is going to come from Google and it is best in class for image generation and image edit. I'm going to show you a couple of examples that I've been seeing with Nano Banana and we can do sub, uh, some experiment in this video. But Nano Banana is probably the best model that can retain the entire face irrespective of your skin tone and then follows instructions so diligently that the final output is almost usable all the time. I'm going to do a comparison between Nano Banana and also Quinn so that you have an understanding about how Quinn edit versus Nano Banana and other popular models are. To start with, this is a new model that you can't access through any different way. It's a secret model. It is available only on LM Arena battle mode. So you might have to count on your luck if you want to get this model. But I've been lucky enough to get this model number of times in the last couple of days. So this is the first prompt. I've given this image of MKBHD. For those who do not know, MKBHD is a very popular tech YouTuber and uh, his name is Marcus Brownlee. So I've given um, this image and then I asked this battle mode to create a new thumbnail for me. Cinematic, hyper detailed YouTube thumbnail. And there's a bunch of instructing instructions. But the main thing here is that there should be an MKBHD logo edge. And it should be like, you know, his welcoming into something. And this is the entire prompt. You can read the prompt, pause the video and read the prompt. But this is what Google Gemini 2.0 flash preview image generation created. I mean, not bad, I would say, but you can immediately say this is like some a poor AI's work, like MKBHD's face is like kind of distorted. I mean, where is he putting hand in the door? So all these things are like pretty bad. Now going back to Quen with the same image and same prompt, and this is what Quen Edit gave. I mean, Quen Edit is one of the best open source model that was launched in the last couple of weeks. And this model is quite good for a lot of different use cases. This model is good. And YouTube influencers are going bonkers saying that Photoshop is dead because of this model. And this is the output of this model. Now going back to LM Arena. Now this is what Nano Banana gave me. It is stunning. I mean, you can see the face, the body, the skin tone. It's all quite retained. In fact, like the picture that we gave is not like full size picture, but still it managed to extend the picture. So I'm going to show you the picture again, what I gave. This is the picture that I gave. So it doesn't have the waves completely, but still it managed to complete the waves. You can see on his t-shirt, the RGB waves are completed. There is MKBHD logo. There is a door that is opening and there is a line, a light that is shining and then MKBHD is welcoming us. Also to put perspective, this is what GPT-5 gave. Even though I liked what GPT-5 did in terms of the colors, the contrast and all those things, I think his face looks like he hasn't eaten for weeks. So. Um, and he's an ultimate fish P player and I don't think MKBHD is going to look like this ever. So I'm not going to go ahead with this. So if you see LM Arena has done a, LM Arena's Nano Banana has done a tremendous job in getting something out for us. And uh, how do I know this is a model from Google? Obviously everybody from Google is currently teasing this model with banana emoticon. I mean, I don't think like, why would they randomly share banana emoticon? I mean, like, yeah, all these employees. So I guess this is most likely if you see the quote also, like a lot of people from Google are just quite quote tweeting this and then uh, still responding back with the bananas. Now going back to another prompt that I found very interesting is like you have a you have a supermarket. Um, you can see the effect here, like it's kind of like a zoomed in effect. And uh, you can see like a man standing there. You have got a bunch of items on the card. And then I wanted to add Coke. So this is what C did it give me. Just put the Coke, even though the Coke is good. I mean, you can see that the Coke uh, tin is pretty distorted. And I specifically said I want a Coke tin uh, so that it doesn't get confused between the bottle. And you can see it is pretty distorted. And um, even though there is image, it, it you can easily say like somebody photoshopped it. Like it's as clean as um, somebody doing a Photoshop of like literally putting an object there. And this is GPT image one. I mean, like every day GPT embarrasses me. And this is one more embarrassment. Like this is your Coke tin. Are you kidding me? The text is distorted and everything very bad. And this is what Gemini 2.0 flash image generation gave me. Um, not bad, but again, it almost looks like somebody slapped it. And now coming back to Nano Banana, this is what Nano Banana has given me. The Coke tin has a very similar noise like this entire picture. You can see the Coke tin is amazing. Kind of like it has got a bunch of reflection. The logo is good. The text a little bit here is distorted, but I think overall, if you see 
this is probably one of the best across all these models. You can see uh, C did it. Um, I think it's from ByteDance, the TikTok company, OpenAI, and then you've got another model from Google and Nano Banana here, making sure that Nano Banana is the best here. So I'm going to just go back and try my luck live while recording this video. So you have to go to LM Arena's chat modality, but when you select image, then you get like image as an option here. So you can go select any picture that you want. You can ask it to generate a new picture also, but you can go select any picture. So I'm going to select the picture of Mr. Altman, Sam Altman. Okay, so I'm going to say um, this picture. Let's go ahead with this picture. Copy the image. Go back to Ella Marina, paste it image. Create a wide and wide 16 by 9. I don't think it uh, retains the dimensions properly, but I'm going to just say thumbnail where this man shows the glowing door with Indian flag on it. Um, it's yeah, it's I think it's not a very great prompt, but I want to just give it and then see what it is. So sometimes you don't get uh, um, the nano banana in the first shot. So you have to prompt it again. So I've given the image. Um, ideally, it's good if you give an image where uh, the the human doesn't have any other object or text with the, the human but you can see what it is going to do. So create a wide 16 by nine thumbnail where this man shows the glowing door with Indian flag on it. Some of the same prompt style is stuck in my mind so that we can just compare and then try. So you can also have multiple sessions. You can just like duplicate it and then try. Um, okay, I think this is not a bad one, uh, but again, like, I think this is a good one, except that he's not showing the door, but I would say like the right is better. There is an Indian flag. I would say both are bad, but let's see who's um, security verification. I think I'm doing a lot. So they are thinking that I'm not a human. Sorry, guys, I'm a human. Okay, see did it flux one context dev. Okay, uh, let's try the same thing again with the same image so that we can hit nano banana, copy the image, paste the image. So we have an understanding what these two models are creating. So I'm going to send the same image again create a wide 16 by nine thumbnail. And I'm going to also add a couple of demos that I saw on internet where people are like praising nano banana in and out. And uh, it's quite amazing. Like I think while the model is available on LM Marina, you should go try it out. That's the whole point of this video uh, before, you know, Google is going to put this behind a paywall or something. So you should definitely go try out this model. The model I'm primarily using this model for image edit. And um, oh yeah, this is amazing. Uh, this is like Indian prime minister um, with a flag behind. Oh, yeah, the left is better. But I think the image is again, like slightly distorted. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Sam Altman in a side view and there is a door. Maybe my prompting skill is not very good with this one, but you can see uh, it managed to create nano banana with the man. Okay. So it's a man in this case, Sam Altman. I would say like this is a stunning uh, model and uh, use the model while it is free and then let me know what you think about this model. I started exploring this model. I'm obsessed with this model. Every now and then whenever I get free time, I'm exploring this model to see how good it can follow instructions. Like for example, you can um, you can just simply upload, um, let's say um, Hollywood man without shirt. I hope YouTube doesn't ban me for this. Um, I want to just go ahead and then select um, one of these guys. Okay, so. Um, yeah, who's this guy? Why is it so hard to find a Hollywood man without shirt? Okay, let's go ahead with this guy. Matthew McConaughey. Um, copy the image and uh, paste the image. Can you add a nice suit um, that uh, is um, LinkedIn uh, headshot quality? I should have said, can you add a nice suit to this man? But let's see. So the, again, what you're seeing is no LoRa. Uh, I mean, typically for this kind of stuff, people train a LoRa adapter and on top of that, you know, you would do this kind of stuff. But here we are just doing zero shot. And uh, I hope like in the first shot, I get Nana Banana. Otherwise we get to compare with a different model here and then see what it does. So we've got two models. Um, oh man, not bad, isn't it? Um, I think the quality is bad, but he, the second one is, um, I mean, his, his hair is also combed and all sort of a nano banana again. I mean, I'm not even making this stuff um, up. Uh, so it's quite good. Um, if you did not like his hair combed, maybe then you can select flux one context dev. 
But for me, the idea is to create a LinkedIn headshot just from like one shirtless image. And it managed to add the shirt and the guy is good. I think like if you see the pupils and all those kind of stuff, maybe you can like start noticing a few differences. But I think overall, this is a great model. I love this model. Go try out this model. Let me know what you think if Google is going to launch this model soon. See you in another video. Happy prompting.